Stop spawning boats. Stupid game. You were thinking about getting that. I wish I knew what that was, but I don't know product numbers. So seriously, with the reinforcements, bollocks to it, we're leaving. Don't care about your reinforcements anymore, game. We have things to do, other missions to be at. Yes, that rig was remodeled into a thing. It's a laptop! Yeah, that narrows it down. I knew that much, because he mentioned a laptop earlier. I'm gonna get an S, yep. <laughs> oh, really? E-Tech, already had. Blueprint, don't care about. Frigate. I got a new thing. An Asus i7. I would say that's pretty good. Depends on what you want it for. Asus makes good laptops, though. It really depends on what you want it for. Are you going to play games on it? If you are, that's probably underpowered, considering it has a 1.8 processor. means it probably doesn't have much of a graphics card or chip. Probably has built-on, built-in chips. That's alright. You're a jerk. It'll be alright. You're just fitting your name. Don't worry about it. I'm kidding. Not actually being a jerk. You are a jerk, though. Enigma Tech Alpha. The water is doing some weird broken animation thing. I'm not sure what's going on there. General purposes school slash fun? That should be plenty for general purposes. I mean, it's an i7. <laughs> an i7 is probably more than you need for general purposes slash fun. Full speed ahead. I think this is... All hands alert. Is this the iceberg one? Or no? I don't remember. No, this isn't the iceberg one. We've already done that one. Herp derp der herp derp der. Find fun. Dwarf Fortress and death. Mostly death and partially Dwarf Fortress. And BT Dubs is here. I blame BT Dubs for my lack of sleep. That sounds terrible and I probably shouldn't have said that. BT Wubs. Good lord. Variety of names. Yeah, you kept sending me Steam messages, yo. Technically, I, work, I think that works both ways. That's a lot of missiles. I don't know if I prove of this. Games and watching sleepy stress streams. Well, I, want, I asked if you wanted to play games on it. It's just like carpet that entire area. You had a fleet? Not anymore. The i7 uh, has built-in graphics, and it's not that good. But it'll handle basic stuff. I mean, it's not going to play Final Fantasy XIV, but it'll play older Enemy stuff. We're breaking up. I didn't even know we were together. Oh my god, it just spawned like a million boats. I just noticed that. <laughs> it just spawned so many boats. So many boats. I don't even know where these are. Oh god, they're all pontoons, too. Why you gotta be like that, game? Yeah, it'll do solitaire perfectly fine. An i7 is well beyond what you actually need just for general purposes or even games. Uh, but I think it might have a better graphics chip in it than the i5. I don't really know. I don't pay that much attention to that bit of information. They're all PT3s, aren't they? Light damage. Everything gotta be a PT. Also, the smoke is black, but whatever. Yeah, you're not playing Final Fantasy. I can't hit the stupid boat! There we go. Didn't kill him, but I hit him. I guess that counts for something. Where's the super weapon at? Let's just go kill that. I say that, but I'm surrounded by like a million little tiny boats that it won't lock onto. Please stop shooting me. TY. Light damage. I can't see the boats, but they're there. Trust me, I'm not seeing things. The boss is like right next to me, isn't it? Yes. Enemy reinforcements 
If it's a Haswell, it probably doesn't run cool. Is, you, is it... Uh, it's 4K, isn't it? Where was the... It's a 4500. That's Haswell, right? Those things run hot. Like crazy. Oh, I'm way too close to the boss, aren't I? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Hi. I need to not be that close to you anymore. The Ivy uh, stuff runs fairly cool. Haswell, I've heard, has an issue of running very hot and somewhat sporadically. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've heard. So. Blowing up boots. I did good damage to him. He did fire like 7,400 lasers at me though, so that's the thing. Also, most of the little boats are dead. Hooray! Progress. You're having no issues with your 4670? You are not a laptop. <laughs> your cooling system is much more capable than a laptop's. Unless you're running that thing on a really tiny passive cooler with like a 70, mil 70 centimeter, centimeter millimeter fan strapped to it. You have a 70 centimeter fan on top of your processor. That should probably keep it pretty cool. I can't even see the shells, but they're hitting him. That should kill him. Yay! You cannot find any laptop that is going to run games I want to play. Uh, there are laptops that are really powerful. The problem is they're really expensive. I'm talking like at least $1,500 to get a, a good gaming laptop, at which point you're going to be like, you know. <laughs> I don't really like the gaming laptops. I just, I just find it silly. See you, Jakey. I'm gonna go ahead and just end it there. Mission complete. Now, I'm just not chasing down all these stupid boats. Yeah, they have good cooling solutions, but they're they're so bulky and relatively heavy. When I when I want a laptop, I want something small that's lightweight that I can easily carry around without any additional. Kitty Hawk. I like Kitty Hawk. It's the best class. The class of Kitty Hawk, 2009. Must contain innuendos. Um, how do you make a cooling solution into an innuendo? Welcome to EL2 missions. So I want a tablet? No. I don't want a tablet. I want a laptop that's not massive. It'll overheat in 20 minutes. Captain, my face is stuck in this position. He boarded a super weapon sub and is attempting to escape the Schkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkorschkor
I love my computer by bad religion. He must have had an unknown motive, like aliens. Aliens. Think of the aliens, Commander. Like, talk to aliens. That's reckless. Don't you know. Every time I say don't you know, I think of Cruelest Chris on YouTube, and then I'm sad that he doesn't make videos. At least he doesn't make them on YouTube. He may make them somewhere else. I'm not sure, because I don't have access to the Something Awful forums. Because I don't pay, or haven't paid. It's like ten bucks to get access to Something Awful. I would like to continue. Thank you. The box wouldn't go for some reason. The best of luck to you. CBT. I destroyed 0% because I killed literally nothing. Didn't even kill the super weapon. Shoot it a couple times, it leaves. GG, well played. It's a good thing our speed far surpasses the speed of any normal surface ship. Oh wait, apparently that's not calculated into the storyline. I think there's only two EL2 specific missions, so if I'm remembering, this will actually be the last mission. The North Pole! He expects to find Santa, otherwise known as Aliens. How do you think they get the presents into your house? The fat man doesn't go down your chimney. It's Aliens. Aliens come in and give presents. Or something. I'm glad there's no music for this bit. Mm, you just said we can't catch up to him. What do you mean, can we catch him before he gets there? What kind of stupid question was that, dude? Infernal Machine. I am fairly certain this is the final mission, so... Prepare your butts. And prepare to clinch. There will be no clinching, by the way, but whatever. Is that a ship? By God! I told you, aliens. Pay attention. The fat man doesn't go down your chimney. Santa, Santa's fat, and he's a man. Also, this dude's insane, but check out his sweet boat. That is the definition of alien boots. If I recall, it's entirely possible I'm just gonna straight up die relatively quickly here. This fight is either a DPS check, which you'll in all likelihood fail, or... It's, it really depends on the difficulty. I might be able to do it on this difficulty. Or a speed check. Because he fires very slow, well, not very, but relatively slow moving uh, orbs that will chase you for a really, really, really long time. And they do a metric crap ton of damage. It's like, it's like getting hit with essentially wave cannons that just follow you around. This dude is like uh, Ganondorf. Or Ganon. I can't remember which one's Ganondorf and which one's Ganon. Or if they're the same thing, I don't know. What did you say about that? Aliens! Stop sleeping in class and you would know it's aliens. God damn it. And then I'll hand out quizzes, and then the people who weren't paying attention will say aliens. And it'll be a fantastic way to fail people. The uber weapon. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. I like saying it with, like, no A's in it. Ragnarok. It sounds very not English at all. Also, it's not a super weapon. It's an uber weapon. Get it right, Weisenberg. Weisenberg. The Great Winter. This is what caused that long period of frozen everything. You have like a really long speech and my god that picture. Oh no, the super weapon is activating. It's an uber weapon. 
Do you people not pay attention? <laughs> this dude's facial expressions. Spoilers! The uber weapon pilots itself. Also, Navi appears to be throwing herself out of the window. Oh no, she's fine. That's ridiculous! Despite the fact that we blow these things up like crazy, just, you know, no one else can blow these up. We're not gonna withdraw? What you all about? You have to, actually. It's fairly obvious that that's not a continuation of the last mission, because when you save, it doesn't actually say mission pause. So you actually do go back to the dock. The uber weapon is destroying nearby glaciers and islands with its black lightning orb. Creatively named. It is in fact a bla black lightning orb. We could just, you know, leave, and then, because we're on a boat, we can just leave it alone. We could just make floating cities and just run away from it all the time. It'll be alright. It's the weapon of all weapons. I think you're supposed to mean it's the mother of all weapons. I mean, I don't think weapons have weapons, and this would be the weapon that weapons use, but that would be very confusing. Like, which weapon are you talking about? The weapon or the weapon's weapon? Doctor Who style. The mistakes of mankind all involve eating too much food at dinner and then being unable to move and then possibly falling asleep. You don't have to give such a long speech, dude. Just blow up the boat. Please entrust your lives to me. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea. I've died many times so far. So is that the father of all weapons ran out when weapons was... What? When weapons was just a small child. That's why weapons are so dangerous. It's always... It's very specific weapons. I think some of them handled it a little bit better. Like Ruby Weapon didn't handle that loss too well. All hands, man your faces. Weapons has weapon has daddy issues, yes. We'll see if we can do this on the first try. I don't know because I don't remember how much of a beating this dude takes, but I'm pretty sure it's ridiculous. It's also quite large, so it's almost impossible to miss. Spoiler, don't get hit. Spoiler, it's really hard to not get hit because they follow you. Now are we talking about weapons or weapon? I don't know anymore. You can actually get your boat stuck uh, in the center there, by the way. It's always fun. Full speed ahead. And I believe those black orb things have a range of like 20k. Or something silly. Yep, he already shot one. That's what that sound is, if you're curious, is him shooting the little orbs. They don't show up on the radar, you can't see them very well because it's foggy, I can't even see his health bar. But they're there. Major his health bar. Enemy ship's the there super they are. Is going haywire. I don't like when the super weapon goes haywire, it's already gonna kill me with black orbs of doom. Go away. Ow. Yep, Light dead. <laughs> Do you see why I don't like that super weapon all that much? What's probably going to happen is we're actually going to have to do this with a frigate or something. Mission failed. Enemy mission failed. In a, in a mission? What's an in a mission? I don't know. E. I got a new record. High five. New record. GG. Well played. So we're probably going to have to take a uh, Probably a frigate to do this. You can't use a submarine. It is a super weapon, and thus cannot be used on, with a submarine. GG Nori. What is the best possibility here? 
Um, 15, 50, 1600. Probably this. Problem is the freaking bridges for these things are massive, but we don't need a whole lot of space. Not main guns, because what I'm going to be trying to do... is cruise missile it. Sadly, the range on cruise missiles is kind of bad, so we'll have to kind of finagle this somehow. Basically, I'm just going to have a bunch of cruise missiles, and then I'm going to shoot a bunch of cruise missiles, and hope it kills it! I don't know if I'll have enough cruise missiles, but we'll see. I can actually fit two there, I think. Yeah. I can fit three. Good heavens. We're going to go really, really fast and have cruise missiles, and that is going to be the entirety of the plan. Hopefully we have enough ammunition for this. We might not, I don't know. We can certainly go really fast with these. Oops. No, stop that. Can I put these side by side? Yeah, why am I not putting these side by side? AI, why did you not put these side by side? Oh, you can't put those side by side. Hmm. Interesting that you can't put those side by side. Need more engine bits. We're going to have no armor, by the way, if you haven't caught on yet. And one in the back. It's just going to be a very silly boat. Go faster than Sonic the Hedgehog? Probably not. In fact, I don't even know if I have enough systems to fill these slots. We don't need an Aegis system. We don't need auto countermeasures. We do need auto reload. Well, we don't need it, but you know what I mean. We don't need electronic targeting, we don't need a firing delay. We could get digital enhancement. Sure. I don't think I have enough systems to actually fill these slots with useful, useful stuff anyway. Excuse me. EM shield beta. And then all of the make go fast systems. What is this? Make go really fast. That's actually a massively good system. Let me, let me show you that. 3,000 endurance, 1 steering, 20% speed, 25% command. 3,000 endurance is like a battleship. Also, I keep hitting the desk. So if you had a battleship, this would effectively make you faster, turn better, and then double your health. Which, you know, that's not silly at all. And then you can combine that with this system, which makes me turn even better. And then we can do the other system that makes me turn worse, but goes faster. Oops. Whoops. We're going full speed, by the way. That's a Numatech Zeta. Okay. Um, that one, because I don't care about command, which is entirely irrelevant. And we could put that one on there. 148 knots. There's really nothing else to put on there, quite frankly. Could do electronic jamming to assist with missiles, although I may, I may be able to outrun missiles, I'm not entirely sure at this point. A fish detection system? And that. Although I don't have the go fast forward thing. Hmm. Let's get rid of digital enhancement and put the go fast forward thing on. There we go. That's your boat. I could actually put aircraft on it. Hmm. Engine warranty? It makes it impossible for your engine to be damaged, but it reduces your uh, ship's endurance by a thousand. It's really not that good. You can't collect claim and they won't repair it for you. No, it's just a you don't have to worry about your engine thing. It's not that useful. Let's go back to design real quick. I want to check something. That speed, yo. How much ammo do I have? I have 24 cruise missiles. At 5k a piece, if they hit at 5k a piece. 
That's a decent amount of damage. We'll have to see if it does it, though. And I wanted to see if I had any VTOL stuff I could use. Like bombers? What VTOL bombers do I have? This. I can have a bunch of Halberd 2s. Which don't actually do anything, but I can have a bunch of Halberd 2s flying around. That's also one of the advantages of frigates. You don't need um, aircraft bits. The frigate actually comes with the bits that allow aircraft to launch, which is interesting. Anyway, let's see how this goes with our 148.6 knot frigate. Which I think may actually be above the maximum speed the game lets you go, I'm not sure. We'll see. Full speed ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Super weapon, whatever. Go fast. No, it definitely goes really fast. It goes over 200 knots when it's boosting. Are you shooting at me? Supposedly it's shooting at me. We're going really, really fast. There it is. There is it orbs. There is its orbs. Ow. Orbs cannot catch me, so as long as we have the ammo for this and I stop wasting Enemy rounds. By the way, look how fast those things are. You can see that's missiles, I think, chasing me. At this point, I'm pretty sure that's missiles. Light Ow. Enemy reinforcement spotted. Light damage. Out of ammunition. And I'm out of ammo. And that's a problem. Yeah, that's a minor flaw in the system. We'll have to redesign that. His little black orbs are blowing up my missiles. Must be the go faster stripes. We'll have to rethink our plan here. What could we use to do this on a frigate? I could just get a really fast battleship. Modify that battleship to make it go really fast, but... Let's see. He blows up the missiles, so I can't hit him with those. No, not replace. Sure. It's not what I meant to do, but that'll do it too. I can put one of these on here. 10k only has three rounds, 30,000 damage. I don't know if that's enough to kill it. I can put a new crab laser on it. What is that? That's 16... That's... 160,000? Or am I calculating that wrong? I think it's 160,000 damage from the new crab laser. UK frig too. Sleek frigate. All of the frigates look really sleek. And they're actually kind of cool looking. Um, either that or I could put some AGS on there, but I only have four of those. Hmm. Or main guns, obviously. Let's slap the magnetic pulse gun on there and see what we can do. Uh, not back there. I have to put it up here, don't I? Yep. It's actually slightly faster now. And now with a slightly note itchier nose. It's the only gun on the boat. It's very uh, incognito, this boat. That's it. Just has the command and that gun. And we'll have to see how much damage on the health bar this thing will do. You have to stop the fire, which is a thing to keep in mind. Major damage to enemy ship's bridge. Well, that's a To start, it's already going haywire. There it is. Hello! I go really fast. I dodge those torpedoes like a pro. Ooh, don't get hit by that either. <laughs> I want to see its health bar. How much damage did that do? Basically nothing. Light damage. So I've done basically no damage to this thing now. And he's shooting Light crap damage. at me. I don't think this is a means of doing this. It might be if I can get some ammo. Let's go find a dude, man. This is a massive departure from our usual things. Yeah, there's a single boat over here. 
I don't have anything to... Oh wait, I can use these. I can use those things chasing me down. I can try to use my halberds to blow this boat up for me. Maybe I should do this after I've used all of my ammo rather than just most of it. We might be able to get ammo from the subs, yeah. He's shooting things at me. Is he within range, out of curiosity? Your face is out of area. Yes, he is. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. Stop engine. Reverse engine. If I can do this, I can hit this dude and the boss at the same time. I'm going 74 knots backwards while I fire. Ammo? Yes. Sweet. I don't know where this dude's black orbs of doom went. I think they may have disappeared before they got to me. I also think he may have been out of range. Oh, yep, he's in that mode. <laughs> he's in the destroy things that get near me mode. Why are there so many missiles? Where did these missiles come from? Is he just spitting out submarines? Good lord. Seriously, missiles. Genius. Stop missiles! Cease! You have a maximum range. Cease your ranginess. Eventually, sometime today, would be good. I missed. Light damage. Deck damage. Run away from the glowy orbs. Those little glowy orbs do like a thousand a hit or something, and he likes to rapid fire them. Just in case you're unaware, another frigate spawned, or another transport spawned. This is gonna hurt. Light damage. He's almost dead. I can kill him with another shot Light if damage. I don't die. This is pretty much the only way to not die from those orbs, is to go really fast, so. It basically takes you away from giant battleship to really small boat that goes fast. This might hurt. Out of Hooray! Final shot. Uh, yeah, probably a, a couple extra things on somewhere on there to kill missiles would have been a good idea, but it doesn't matter. I barely clipped him with that one, so I was thinking I might miss. But I didn't, so hooray. Retreat at full speed. Well, we can go 70 knots backwards, so I think we're alright. I think we can retreat just fine, but whatever. Oh god, controller. Controller got excited there. Look at this sweet wave physics, yo. This game has physics. Except not really. Physex. It has the more advanced version of physics. The Uber weapon has been obliterated. Look at him, sounding all fancy-like and stuff. Hooray! We win and we get the same message as last time. The Uber weapon... Actually, we get a different message. Hmm. Hooray! Woo! Uber weapon sank and stuff. And we win. Yay. Yeah, Peace treaties, nations that had attacked, declared, yeah, that's all the same. Some of this is different and some of it's the same, which is interesting. A new Fizet syllabus. Drugs and animals, physics. I can't remember what of this is new and what of this is old, but, you know. This looks relatively new, so why not let that roll? This is the last boss, yeah. It's the last boss of the main game, but there is... a... I think one or two more bosses in the extra missions. That is not the hardest boss in the game. Pretty darn difficult, but it's not the hardest. The hardest is the one in the extra missions. The final in the extra missions. The cheerful wall of text is cheerful indeed. 
When we fail to do that, then that's when humanity will repeat their mistakes, apparently. Yes, Arrow. The squid is basically the same boat, except I think it just shoots faster. And it has a smaller hitbox. I think it may go faster as well, I'm not sure. Yeah, man, it's serious business fighting them squids. Half a month after the battle. This woman has a large chest. And this is all new because this is her path, so we get her message instead of the old man's message. There are three paths in the game, if you're unaware. I've only ever done two at a given save file, but the other save file does have the other path done, apparently. They really need music on this, you know? Just any song, it doesn't matter, just a song would be good. What can I do alone? When did I get so weak-hearted? I don't know. What's she's all about? You don't even need any cleavage. Good heavens, Koei. Make sure to get the knife before the squid. Well, the squid kind of has an advantage in that it's really slippery, so it can just kind of propel itself and then just slide along towards the knife. And then grab it, and then and, and all in the same slide, it can grab the knife and then, like, swing it at you. Those squids are tricky, man. They're really agile. I haven't been paying attention to this at all. She's talking about something, and then being weak-hearted, and then chest, and then weak-hearted, chest again. Mostly chest. It's what I've been staring at this whole time. What of it? Worship Gunner 2 staff! Hooray! Woo! And we get this song again. And our little boat. Chugging along there. Has its one gun, goes 140 knots, it still takes it 50 bajillion hours to get here. We're not watching this again. Second time in a row we're not watching that. But, you know, it's there. Should you desire. Then there's this. Uh, what kind of pants is she wearing? They're very pink and skin tight. I'm not sure what's going on there. Reporting for duty. No laughing, you fools. More poopies. Like, having to wear those clothes. Her profile picture hasn't actually changed. Not her profile picture. Her little uh, icon down there hasn't actually changed. It's still her wearing white. Despite the fact she is quite clearly not wearing white. Is Lieutenant Fabulous in the ending? I don't think he is in any of the endings. I could be mistaken, but I don't remember it. Excuse me. <laughs> Boobies for everybody! Cheering. Woo. That's a cheering sound, by the way. It's not really a very good cheering sound, but it's what I got. They're emergency access panels. Is that what those are? Bron, what are you on about? The game's done, woman. There is no Warship Gunner 3. Sadly. I wish there was, but there's not. They need to release it for PC. That way I don't have to buy a PS4 just to play Warship Gunner. Nursing flaps? 
Good lord. We want to act quickly! Or something or another. Best gaming system is? Um, depends on what you desire and your budget. I don't like all these how to kill your console videos where like people make like $400 systems because while that system might be more powerful on paper, PC games are not optimized to the level console games are. It's not going to play the game to the same standard as a console would at that price. I really I wish people would realize that the reason consoles can play games on crappy hardware is because they have that hardware and that's it. So it's really optimized. When you make a PC game, you have to account for seven bajillion different variations of hardware. Some of them might not work as well as you want them to. I want to see fleets, historical modes, mod support, new missions. If it had mod support, oh my god, that'd be crazy. It would never end. I've destroyed none of the submarines. Because the wave cannon does not hit submarines. Distinguished service medal. German route added to survival. Wolverine hair is in fact gone. Yes. But! That's the end of the game. We've cleared two routes. That is it. It's over. Back to the title screen. Just kicks you out. Don't you butt me, mister. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ending the recording. Ending the live stream. Ending everything. Head's gonna explode. That was my head exploding. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.